Haleluya, haleluya, praise the name of the living God. Bwana Yesu, asifiwe, bwana wabariki sana popote umlipo. So, welcome back to our YouTube channel. If it's your first time watching us and watching me, kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel and uh, click on the notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you'll be able to receive a notification and rush and be the first person to watch. Asante ni sana kumbali hu. Mungu ametufikisha. So leo nataka kuongea sana sana na single single ladies ama wale wa, wa ambao bado wako katika ile safari ya kutafuta wachumba. I want to warn you about I want to teach about six types of men that you should not marry at any cost. Ambaye mkikutana tu naye usome hizi tabia ambazo nitataja hapa ukisha soma hizi tabia and then my sister pray fast before even engaging yourself in that marriage or in that relationship mnapoendelea mnataka kuoana so these are six warning signs that ukiona kwa mwanaume ambaye mnataka kuoana naye now be very careful and if possible run for your life number one man is a man without vision a man without vision unapata kwamba the bible said that where there is no vision people perish so how can a man lack vision first of all because he is yeye ndio dereva wa familia yeye ndiye atakaye endesha hii familia yenu mtakapokuja pamoja so vision ile ile mwanaume ambayo yuko na maono Hmm? Ako na maona anasema anasema tukishaoana ninataka ninataka tufanye hii ninataka tununue shamba mwaka huu after three years ninataka Mungu akitujalia tukue hapa tukue hapa so those are visions that we plan and uh, that's why the bible is teaching us that let us write our visions down let let us put them in the open and pray now about them so mwanaume ambaye hana vision unapata kwamba hata wakati ambapo mko naye ama umuulize umuulize uko na vision gani katika hii uhusiano yetu ama baada ya kuoana uko na maono gani utapata hana hakuna kitu anakuelezea hana vision so vision is what drives a man a vision is what drives a man and not only a man even women vision is what drives everybody so if you have a vision in your life that vision will drive you ukiwa na vision katika ndoa yenu that vision will drive you because it will be very very dangerous wakati ambapo mama ako na vision ama wewe kama msichana uko na vision na yule kijana ambaye mnataka kuoana naye hana vision na sasa kwa sababu ye ndio dereva wa familia itafika mahali afeel kana kwamba you are you are taking everything from him yani anasikia kana kwamba una una, una control but sio ati una control ni vile sasa ye hana maono hmm? hana maono so First of all angalia mwanaume ambaye kijana ambaye yuko na vision mukikaa chini uh, like 10 minutes mukiongelelea maisha yenu vile itakuwa unasikia vile anaongea unasikia vile anasema unasikia vile anapanga anawaza katika ma mawazo yake wewe kama mwanadada unasema wow this one can make a good husband ama kulingana na vile ninasikia this person has a vision so first of all never marry a man ambaye hana vision utajua ya kwanza wakati ambapo mnafanya muna, courtship ama mnakutana muna mnaongea anga stories zenu unasikia anga anaongea aje hmm? anapanga aje maisha yenu hata ukimuuliza na unapanga aje baada ya kuoana tu kishaoana wewe unaona aje unapanga aje kwa hii familia kwa sababu gani yeye ndiye dereva wa hiyo familia utakapo atakapo kuoa yeye ndiye dereva that's why the bible said that the husband is the head of the family meaning that he leads as other follows and the wife is the ana anamsaidia kuongoza anamsaidia ku manage zile zote ambazo zimekuja na anamsaidia mke ni msaidizi so first of all he must ye mwenyewe awe na vision so ukiona mwanaume mwenye ana vision umekaa chini naye kama 30 minutes mnapiga story how ski vision yoyote kwake then three months three six months mmekuwa mkifanya mkikot au ski vision yoyote ana maono ana maono yoyote ana maono kabisa run for your life and run for your life and go and take a break and pray and then number two, is a man who can't provide for you a man who can't provide for you is very very dangerous as i am saying extremely dangerous kwa sababu gani biblia inasema kwamba a man who cannot provide for his family is worse even than an unbeliever yani ni mbaya hata kuliko mtu ambaye hajakoka yani ni mbaya kabisa hata kuliko mtu ambaye hamjui mungu kwa sababu gani mungu alipoumba adam na hawa biblia inasema kwamba na akamwambia adam na wewe utafanya kazi kwa kwa, kwa, kwa jasho sana ili ukaweze kupanda kupanda mimea yako kwenye 
kwenye ardhi na kisha ardhi wakati mwingine ardhi utafanya kazi kwa jasho sana ili ardhi kupatie chakula kwa sababu gani mbona mwanaume ndiye akapewa kazi ya ardhi kwa sababu they were given the power and the they were given the power to rule they were given power they, 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 to to nini to provide for the family they are the providers of the family na hiyo ipo hiyo ndio sababu biblia inasema kwamba a man who cannot provide for his family ni mbaya hata kuliko yule ambaye hajakoka so wakati ambapo una umko kwa courtship umepatana na kijana unapata kwamba hata mkienda hoteli yeye anataka tu wewe ulipange bills mkienda mahali kufanya shopping anataka tu wewe ndio ulipe mkipanga kwenda kwa wazazi wake like the, the other day nilikuwa na 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 a lady alikuwa ananiuliza kwamba yule kijana ambaye alipatana naye wakati ambapo wazazi kwa kina kijana wanapanga kuja kwa kina msichana wanataka msichana ndiye afanye kazi atafute pesa atumie wazazi wa kijana na kwa kina kijana ili wafanye shopping ya kukuja kwa kina msichana that is uh, that is foolishness that is foolishness so ukipatana na mtu ambaye he can't even provide una umetoka unaenda unaenda kutembelea mama yako mzazi hata wizi akakununulia hata kama ni sukari kilo moja endo ukatembelee mzazi zienda ukapelekea mama hii yani unapata kwamba he can't even provide for the family leave alone hata tuachane na mambo ya ya, 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 ya wazazi for you for yourself hmm? he can't even provide for you unapata kwamba wakati ambapo mko courtship hmm? hata ukimwambia ukimwambia kuna jambo fulani kuna kihi na hii na hii kuna hii mambo inaendelea hata mkienda mahali he always want you to spend he, he want he, to spend your money but he can't spend his money yani yake he can ana na sio yani hana he can't provide hmm? he is unable to provide hana kazi hana kitu ya maana ya kufanya yani hako tu hmm? so w- utaenda wapi na, na mwanaume kama huyo hata wakati ambapo mtawana because lazima mwanamke lazima apige miaka kumi mbele hata kabla ya ndoa wakati ambapo unapatana na kijana calculate 10 years ahead of you living together mtakuwa wapi kwa sababu gani at some time katika hii ndoa utakuja upate mtoto uzai wakati ambapo utakapozaa utapewa kama miezi sita eh? miezi sita ya kuheal miezi sita ya kunyonyesha mtoto miezi sita ya kukaa kwa nyumba miezi sita at least ya kurejesha nguvu hii miezi sita kama wewe ndio umekuwa bred wina wewe ndio umekuwa sijui umekuwa kila kila wina wewe ndio wina kwa hii nyumba kila kitu wewe ndio wina 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 wakati ambapo utakuwa unakaa chini mm, unalea mtoto umepata mtoto mtoto mgongo iko na majeraha bado ijapona mwili haina nguvu unataka mtu akutafutie supu kunyo upokee nguvu na wewe ndio ulikuwa wina 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 bread wina house wina rent wina food wina shopping wina eh? kila kitu wewe ndio wina sasa uta, utaniambia mtaangaliana mfikie wapi kama ye hawezi akafanya kazi ya provide so the first the second thing that you must look at in a man a man who cannot provide for you hata wakati mko courtship he can't even provide for you hmm? yani hata mkitoka tu ati mnaenda tu mara round hawezi hata kanunua mahindi kwa pesa yake mkipanda gari mnaenda town wewe ndio unalipa transport mkirudi wewe ndio unalipa transport mkikula kwa hoteli wewe ndio unalipa sijui nini wewe ndio unalipa run for your life it will be worse it will be worse it will be worse and it's better a broken relationship than a broken marriage so men were created so that they were created and they were given the ability to provide they were given the ability to till the ground and provide food for their families to provide food for their people so hii ingine ya 50-50 hii sasa ni ile tu inakuja kwa sababu ya hali ya maisha venye iko siku hizi of course ukiwa sawa kama kama mwanadada you support your husband your, your man that is well and good lakini yule ambaye ako 0% hawezi na hawezi na hawezi aka provide hana before you engage yourself in such a marriage tafadhali and nilisema kwamba ninaongea na single ladies tafadhali mkama huyo take a break and think rethink and think again but lakini kuna hii kesi kama kwa mfano niseme nyinyi ni watu ambao mlishaoana mume alikuwa na kazi vizuri anafanya kazi alikuwa na provide vizuri anafanya vitu vizuri and then all of a sudden kitu ikato, ikatokea maybe kazi kaisha ama hali ya hii hali ya maisha tuwezi jua ama hali ya magonjwa ama kitu jambo tu ikatokea ikawa sasa imefika mahali ule mume aweze akafanya kazi hapo sasa kama mke you will provide willingly and happily because unaona hii ni hii ni, 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 ni mambo ni, it's, it's a natural disaster it's, it's a natural thing that wewe ukasema tu huyu jamaa kolezi ama nini that one you will understand lakini yule ambaye yuko tu sawa miguu yake miwili sawa mikono yake miwili sawa akili yake timamu na nguvu ako nayo na, 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 na sio mgonjwa that one think and rethink and then number three, is a man who can't defend you publicly 
a man who can't defend you publicly when being humiliated by his family members number one thing lazima ujue kwamba wakati ambapo unaolewa na unaingia katika ile bomu unaenda katika ile familia hauendangi pale haujaolewa na babu wa hiyo boma haujaolewa na mama na, na mother in law haujaolewa na sisters in law or brother, brothers in law mwenye amefanya ukaingia kwenye hiyo boma ni huyu mume wako na huyu mume wako kama ame ndiye amefanya ukaenda kwa hiyo boma alafu aanze ku, 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 ku behave nawe kama stranger wakati ambapo jambo imetokelezea unagomba unagombanishwa pale mamake anakugombanisha baba yake anakugombanisha watu wake wanakugombanisha na yeye pia yuko tu pale and he can't defend you he can't even uh, nyamazisha wale waambie no leave my wife alone we shall sort out the issues ourselves yani anaangalia tu anaangalia tu na unapata kwamba yeye pia ana, anajiunga pale my dear hapo you need to pray more you, you need to engage, engage yourself in prayers and you need to seek the face of the lord and intercede intercede and take a break especially ikipata ikipata kama bado hamujaoana take a break take a break take a break na unapata kwamba sometimes also his friends are insulting you. So sasa zingine ni marafiki wake wanakugombanisha na ni ako hapo ako hapo wanakugombanisha mbele yake and he can't defend you publicly because no matter how wicked is your wife no matter how wicked is your husband publicly lazima utajaribu kumdefend. Mambo mtarekebisha kwa bedroom, mambo mtarekebisha kwa siri. Lakini publicly lazima you try by all means possible to defend your partner. That is what normally happens ukaenda tu unaanza kumsomea mbele ya watu so ukiona yote ambaye hata unagombanishwa unatuka nanwa na watu wake hawezi akaku defend and that time you are just starting up please my dear sister take a break and if possible just run for your life god will give you a, a, a somebody and then number four, is a man who thinks your opinion doesn't matter or is useless yani mkikaa nae mahali hata ama, ama kuna 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 jambo kuna gumzo ambayo inaendelea ama kuna jambo ambayo linaendelea then you try to advise him unamwambia kwamba no i think that one will not work let us do this way anaanza kukwambia no you know wewe uwezi ukaniambia kitu cha kufanya uwezi ukanisiwezi siji wewe ni mwanamke unaniambia nini juu yani anadharau an, 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 opinion zako anadharau advices zako anadharau hata kama ni kizuri anaidharau anaipuuza run for your life why because many at the time women sense things before they happen many women i can say 99% of women even just 100% of women they sense things before they happen unapatanga msichana anaweza akakwambia kitu ama mke wako anaweza akakwambia kitu eh hapa naye mimi hapo sidhani sidhani kama itakuwa vile unafikiria and then ukisonga songa mbele unakuja unapata kwamba kweli kuna hiyo because the senses of women the senses that the lord gave to women women can sense things things even before they happen so ukiwa na mtu ambaye hata ukimwambia 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 this and this ataki kufuatilia unajua kuna ile yenye you are not controlling kuna ile you can just advise like you can advise your, your boyfriend or even your lover your fiance lakini he, he always anapuuza zile advices zako ukimwambia hii anaona wewe ni mjinga ukimwambia tufanye hivi ataki anaona anasema yeye hawezi 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 fuata advice ya mwanamke hawezi fanya ni yani ni kama hana ile heshima run for your life run for your life and if, run or if you want to take a break take a break and pray so that the lord will lead you and then number five. number five is a man who gossips you with his family or friends kuna wanaume ambao wanakwanga na tabia mbaya sana anaenda anasengenya mke wake pamoja na marafiki zake anaenda anasengenya mke wake pamoja na wazazi wake anasengenya mke wake pamoja na watoto wao anafanya sasa unadharauliwa ukiona mtu kama huyo wakati ambapo unaanza relationship usikie rafiki yake anakwambia oh si mzee wako aliniambia hivi na hivi na hivi juu yako ama sijui usikie madhelo anakwambia oh kijana wangu aliniambia hivi na hivi na hivi juu yako na ni kitu ambacho ni siri sometimes also uko ni siri tu muna discuss kwa nyumba muna discuss kwa nyumba and then all of a sudden unasikia imeweza ku, ime, imeweza kutoka nje so be very very careful before you engage yourself just take a break and pray and if possible step back and seek the face of the lord kwa sababu hii ni jeraha ambayo itaendelea kukusumbua itakusumbua katika maisha yako hata katika ile katika moyo wako unapanda unapata kwamba utakuwa unaishi na majeraha ndani ya moyo wako unasikia mmepanga kufanya hii umesikia amekusengenya imetoka imeenda huko sijui jambo imetendeka amekusengenya ndoa ni ya watu wawili the third party 
ndoa ni ya watu wawili wakati ambapo mna uwezi mkaitrekebisha hapa mambo hii inatoka toka inatoka toka nje and then to make the, the matter wasu unapata kwamba yule kijana ndiye anatoa nje anatoa nje anatoa nje be very careful take a break pray or if possible run for your life because utaishi kwa majeraha and then number six. Number six is a man who is always against your success. He's against, he doesn't want you to, to succeed. He doesn't want you to grow. He doesn't want you to become industrious. Kuna wanaume ambao wanapinga wasichana sana. Wanapinga, yani nature ili wameumbwa, wanawapinga. Ataki, ataki, ataki mama yafanye kazi, ataki mama aende afanye kitu, ataki mama, ataki yule msichana aendele na, 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 na graduation, ati oo, oh, wacha kwanza ni kuowe, kisha utakuja kugraduate yote baadaye mara sijui anasema ho oh, hiyo biashara hata ni mbaya sitaki ufanye mara ho oh, hiyo kazi usiende yani ataki kitu yote ambayo inaweza kukuletea success let me tell you marriage in ndoa sio mwisho wa kila mtu ati ukiolewa sasa hiyo ni achievement yenye unaweza jigamba nayo kwamba mimi niko na achievement nimeolewa no hiyo sio achievement unaweza ukajigamba nayo hiyo sio certificate hakuna certificate hapo hakuna degree hapo hakuna diploma hapo hakuna kitu yani hakuna of course there is marriage certificate lakini Uwezi ukaenda kutafuta kazi kwa kampuni atuko na marriage certificate. Uwezi ukaenda kufanya kitu fulani unaulizwa unaulizwa na, na what are your qualifications that I have the marriage certificate. Let me tell you that is just part of life. Those are just stages of life like being you are, you are being born again, unaenda shule, unamaliza na shule then there is a wedding and now there is a, kuna watoto wanakuja hapo you become a mother. Those are just right of passage that I can say. Right of passage. Hizo ni vitu natural. But now kuna hii ya you need to be industrious you need to be independent you want to grow you want to you maybe you you are a preacher hmm? wewe ni wewe ni mhubiri ndani yako unasikia una hizo ubiri you have a management aizi akafanya ukaweze ku ili mahubiri katoke ndani yako ama wewe uko na kipawa fulani wewe ni mwimbaji aizi akafanya ukaweze kufika pale ukaembe anaua hiyo duma ndani yako ama unapata kwamba wewe ni mwanamke ambaye uko na bidii ya biashara aizi akakusupport wewe ukafanya hii biashara anaua ile kitu ndani yako so wakati ambapo umeona hizi mapema kabla akuoe run for your life because mutaishi ukiwa umefinyiliwa unafinyiliwa mchana unafinyiliwa usiku unafinyiliwa every now and then and so you find that utakuwa unaishi maisha ni kama unaishi maisha ya jela and marriage is not supposed to be like that so kindly these six types of men ukiwaona first of all take a break pray and seek the face of the Lord, and the Lord will bless you. Thank you very much. This is Angelic Inspired. Thank you for being part of this family, and thank you for subscribing as well. God bless you. Thank you.